Now, from WPTV, this is News Channel 5 at 11. The images of our heroin epidemic, pictures like the ones you see here of people passed out in cars with their children, anger and worry us. A retired firefighter is spending his savings to help, empowering others to let them know they can save a life with a spray. News Channel 5's Megan McRoberts live in Palm City to explain. Megan? Well, Michael, that retired firefighter knows employees at local businesses come into contact with a lot of people on any given day. So because of that, he also fears, feels they're the most likely to encounter someone who may have overdosed on drugs and needs a life-saving dose of Narcan just like this. So today he gave away about 20 doses of this nasal spray Narcan to local businesses to keep on their, on their shelves should it be needed. And he has plans to give away, of, to give away hundreds of more doses. He might not be responding to overdose calls like he did in his 28-year firefighter career. You will probably save their life. But Luis Garcia is still finding a way to help save lives. Do not hesitate to give them Narcan. He retired more than five years ago, but even then he noticed opioid overdoses were rising. People too young are dying. They're, they're too young to die. He's never done drugs nor known anyone who has overdosed on opioids. He simply noticed there was a growing dangerous problem in our communities. I felt helpless hearing about all these increasing opioid overdoses. So he decided to dig into his savings to buy single doses of Narcan and hand them out to business owners. On Wednesday, that included someone from Publix, area drug rehabilitation rehabilitation centers and employees of Dance Dome, a new dance studio. I just want to be able to help save lives. Instructor Maria Costa wants any clients or even passerbys in the parking lot to be safe. You never know. It could be anywhere. And ground zero, believe it or not, we believe it's parking lots at public restrooms. Today, this group learned how to spot an overdose and how to administer Narcan. And they leave here feeling comfortable. And most importantly, they leave here with the medication. Garcia hopes to give out up to 400 doses over the next year. Even one life makes it worthwhile. That was our Megan McRoberts reporting in response to the opioid crisis. Walgreens is now stocking Narcan. Walgreens will sell it without a prescription. But some say having Narcan so readily available may encourage people to use drugs more often. Having Narcan avail availability does nothing to increase the likelihood that people will use opiates. It only offers an opportunity for lives to be saved. CVS already offers Narcan. Walgreens officials say anyone who sells the drug should emit or uses the drug, I should say, should immediately call 911 so the person receiving it can get professional help.